To ask you about the 737 MAX, Dennis Mullenberg talking with CBS News last night and this morning, talking about bringing the MAX back. What's your expectation in terms of when we will see the plane flying again? I think the expectation is simply that we're going to do this in a safe uh, manner, that all the external uh, folks, regulators, investigators aside, agree that it's the right time to bring it back. And I think that's really the focus. And what I heard from Dennis in particular is the important thing, that safety is first. August, maybe even as early as July, or should we even push it back maybe to September? You know, uh, from an operational perspective at United, we're prepared to do it at any point in time. The critical point before we have any of those conversations is that this aircraft is, it returns to flight safely and that not only regulators agree, but the flying public agrees as well. So, but, but I, I hate to have put in a date on this, but are you looking at August as most likely? We're, we're, we, from an operational perspective, stand about a couple of months out. So we pushed it to August, uh, August 4th, I believe, specifically. So we'll continue to monitor, see what the process goes through, and when we think it's, it's safe to fly. We, we will be incredibly communicative to our customers, very transparent when that, when that flight comes back, those aircraft. Uh, I think you've heard I, I, I pledged to be on the first one. It's just a, a, one of many, many things that we're going to make sure that we reassure our customers that it's safe to fly. You want to reassure the customers, and I know you're going to try to do that, but I'm telling you, when I fly, it's a punchline. People make a joke about the 737 MAX. Not only that, there are people who stop me in the airport and say, I'm never getting on that plane again. How do you convince people they should fly it again when it's uh, back in the air? You know, I, I think it's a, there's a combination of communication tools that we'll be doing, certainly. But the first and foremost objective from our perspective is not to assume that everyone will want to fly or assume that everyone will get over it. We have to make sure and assure them in any way possible. And so, again, we'll be transparent. We'll allow any kind of rebooking if, if required. And more importantly, we'll continue to just to prove to you, like everything we do in our business. I always say proof, not promise, and this will apply in this, in this case in particular. The safe return to flight of this aircraft is very critical to not only us, but people around the world. It's, it's a good aircraft, clearly, but at the same time, uh, that's our view, and our public, our flying public needs to be assured and, and, uh, and, and feel the same confidence.